Hey everyone, welcome to Path to Nowhere. While we're waiting for the maintenance update to be finished, let's go over Kawakawa's skills and see if she is worth pulling for. Okay, so case information, destruction of White Sands trade channel attack range is one person. Defensive, um, she's a defender by the way. Defensive counterattack, Kawakawa attacks with his cane. Dealing a percentage of his own attack, physical damage each time. So he has a cane. Where's the cane? Anyway, um, ultimate is Kawakawa creates a protective beacon for a target allied sinner that lasts for the entire battle. Curious. This is something new. An ally with the protective beacon gains HP continually. This is nice. This is, I think, one of the best defender skills that we've had. Well, of course, it's it, it's been a short tenure. But again, this is actually good. Because you can put this in a in a damage dealer, a DPS um, a unit that is squishy. Right? So this is actually good. Um, passive is safe route after Kawakawa performs. Protective Beacon, all Protective Beacon are activated and recovers the allied sinners with the beacons a percentage of their max HP. So again, a another you know protective skill. And another passive is each Protective Beacon on the battlefield gives Kawakawa a certain percentage of magic resistance uh, bonus. The effect can stack a number of times. So again, this game is not really... It's not really built around defenders so because you need to deal a lot of damage. But this guy is, I think, worth it for the purpose of probably he's going to be your main defender at this point. So I'd like to I'd like to level him up. I'd like to get him um, initial uh, attribute first. Blocks multiple enemies at the same time and increases magic resistance by a certain percentage. Again, he has magic resistance. If you have a boss that has, you know... As a magic attack, he is going to be useful. And I think he's going to be good. Um, probably at this point, what I'm thinking, um, he could be your one or two defender. If you, are, you know, if you don't have any defenders in your roster. I think he's worth it. Um, it's just that, um, again, we have another banner in a while. So I'm not sure if, if, if it's going to be two banners. You'd be picking on which. He definitely would be your secondary pick at this point. Okay, because again, we have um, other defenders already. And um, again, he is good. Probably uh, rank 1 or 2 in the defender category. But uh, you'll have to... If we have two banners and if you can choose the other, man, the, the other banner with Stargazer. I think Stargazer's kit is kind of unique. So um, for him, probably your secondary choice... Unless if we could get him in other ways. So that is it. I think he's good, by the way. One or two defender. That is my take. So is he worth summoning? Probably yes. Um, more than 50%. Probably around 70 to 80%. So again, but again, we have other defenders. And you don't really need defenders that much in this game. Probably one or two. Two is the max. So again, guys, thank you very much. Um, see you in my next review of Stargazer. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.